Hello explorers and welcome to another video. It's time again, it's day two of the advent of code. So let's see what's in store for us. Let's switch over to my screen here. So let's go into day two here. Now you need to figure out how to pilot this thing, the submarine. Let's dive. It seems like the submarine can take a series of commands, like forward, one, down, two, up, three. And the forward command increases uh, the horizontal position by x units, the down increases the depth by x units, the up decreases the depth units, and note that since you are in a submarine, up and down affect the depth so that you are in the opposite result of what you might expect. The submarine seems to already have planned course, your puzzle input. You should probably figure out how, where it's going. For example, forward, down, forward, up, down, forward. Your horizontal position and depth start at zero and the steps above then modify them as follows and then you have different positions here then after that you will take these instructions you have a horizontal position of 15 and a depth of 10 multiplying these together produces 150 calculating the horizontal positions and depth would have you fall the following planned course what do you get if you multiply your final horizontal position by your final depth and that's the puzzle input that we have there so let's switch over to the code again and the only thing i have done today is uh, downloading the puzzle so i should have the puzzle input here um load from disk yeah so we have the day two puzzle input here so let's just create a new java class here day two and let's start solving this one main function and we have these so let's do one of these again one like that and then uh, string data equals to that and let's do the, uh, the for loop again let's keep the uh, the old way of talking about this that we did in our other example so let's say line then we can just copy paste the other code so now we have the line here we want to interpret this I think the easiest way to interpret these instructions is just by splitting them by the space in them. So let's say string and arg, uh, args and the line, split it by a space. And then we have the string command is equal to the first argument and the string no, the integer of the amount is the uh, integer parse int of the second argument. So that's what we are going with. And then we have int of depth, which starts at zero, and int of horizontal, which starts at zero. So. Let's do a switch statement there. Switch on the command. And if we have a forward, uh, we should do something. Great. I thought the switch statement could take strings now. Hmm, can't it do that? Not a statement. Hmm. Yeah, case of forward, of course. Then we will take the horizontal and add the amount. And then we need two more cases here. We need down and up. And up will decrease and down will increase the depth. And down here we will take uh, depth times amount uh, times horizontal and print that out. 
So we should get 150 if we run the right day here. So if we run day two, we go out get 150. So this was a very simple thing to do today. Let's copy this buffered reader from day one over here. And we will switch this over so we have the right input. And we can just say that we want to throw the exceptions today. I'm not that fancy. Um, th add it to the signature. So now it throws this find not found exception if it ever happens. Hopefully not. And um, then we will just add the, these two lines down here. So we have that in our input like that. Comment this line out. Can I? There we go. And read line, add to the signature again. So are you exception instead? Yeah, okay. Let's just not bother with this. Something is not wanting to play with us today. So let's do a catch exception. What are you doing? Stop changing my indentation. Really annoying. So there we go. Try catch and the statement. So now we got this huge number here, eighteen. Uh, 1,840,243. So let's see if that is the correct sum here. It is. You get a gold star. I get a gold star. Everybody gets a gold star. <laughs> so we create, uh, fix the first one. So let's look into continue here with part two. Based on your calculations, the planned course doesn't seem to make any sense. You find the submarine manual and discover that the process is actually slightly more complicated. In addition to the horizontal position and depth, you also need to track a third value, aim, which also starts at zero. The commands also mean something entirely different than you first thought. Down x uh, increases your aim by x and up x decreases your aim by x. Forward does two things. It increases the horizontal position by x and increases your depth by your aim multiplied by x. Okay. Again, note that since you are on a submarine, down and up are the opposite of what you might expect. Down means aiming in the positive direction. Uh, okay. In addition to horizontal, you also need to treat track of aim. The commands mean uh, increases your aim by x units, decreases your aim by x units. Forward is multiplying. Uh, down means aiming in the positive direction. Yeah. And now the above example is something different. So they do this and they end up with 900. So we just need to add another value here. So let's do that int aim. Put that to zero and then change the depth value here to aim and here we have depth equals to the aim times the amount and if we do that in with our test data this we should get 900 if we do anything right we get 900 so that change was very small hopefully the change of going to <laughs> in the other direction will just give us a number that works 
So let's try that. So it does seem to be extremely simple, day two, but let's do it. Submit. And you get a gold star, I get a gold star, everybody gets a gold star. You have completed day two. So day two was extremely simple. So what did we do here? We had, first off, the test uh, example here where we had forward and a number, down a number and so on. We wanted to interpret these and first we only calculated depth and horizontal and we went through and split each line. We got the command part which is this forward or down and then we got the amount which is the number afterwards. So it was a parsing exercise today. And then when we had forward, we added to our horizontal and in the beginning we also had a change in depth depending on we are, if we are going down or if we are going up. But now we changes the aim of the submarine. So if we are going down, we aim slightly more and down and if we go up, we aim up in, the, uh, in this direction. So less depth and the depth is calculated by how much we are aiming in any direction and how fast we are going in that direction. And then we just print out the result down here. So this was day two, uh, not much to it. If you have any other solution, leave it down in the comment section down below. I like to see how you solve things. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.